Okay guys, so we're back for episode 2 of Banished. So I'm just going to jump straight back into this. I'm not going to sit on the menu for ages. And it turns out that I didn't record the second episode straight away. Uh, I uploaded that on... Well for me it was Sunday night. So uh, yeah. But I uploaded on the Monday morning. But, uh, I recorded that on Sunday night. It is now... Well, Friday. So yeah, I didn't record it straight away. But anyway, let's jump straight into this and pick up where we left off. So um, last episode we got the uh, farms up and running. Uh, we got it basically much, basically self-sufficient on food. So um, this time through, just going to show you what you can do to help with stuff like that. And also, why are you going at such slow frames? What's going on here? Oh, that's because we're on pause. Alright, okay. Problem solved. Um, yeah, so what was the last thing that happened? So, we are self-sufficient on food. Logs are at full. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to work out where we're up to. We've got the hunting lodge and we've got food. Okay. So, if we resume that here. So, this episode, I'm probably just going to go as far as making sure you can keep up your resources and whatnot, etc. So right now we've still got three labourers and things like that. Uh, it's raining. Woo. I'm going to slow everything down this, this time so I can just run through things at a normal pace. So what you'll notice is my I'm going to show you this as well. My stockpile is getting pretty darn full. So uh, what you do is when you need a new stockpile, I'm just going to build mine right next to this one. Uh, you go to storage, you go to stockpile, and then I normally leave a one gap, build up the same amount, and across the same. Boom, there it is. Someone will come and remove those trees in a second. And problem solved. Why is this going so slow? It's probably the rain. Let's hope the rain goes away. Uh, so that's the stockpile sorted. So eventually when I start earning more resources, they will work their way around all that shears. Um, one thing I didn't put in last week's video, but you need one of these, you need to build a well. So I'm going to put my well, uh, and it has to have blocks of clay around it. So I'm going to pop mine somewhere, I'll find a way. I'm going to pop mine there, and someone will come build that in a minute. Problem solved. They're just, if there's a fire, and they need to be put out, they do it with those. So now we are going to, this time, I think I'm going to show you how to keep your resources up and um, yeah, how to, you'll notice down here we've got a general health, average health for citizens. I'm just going to show you how you can help keep that at a higher level. So the first thing you need to do is you need to build, it's really simple, you just build a herbalist. Uh, herbalists need to be able to have access to woodland area, so I'm going to build mine quite far down here, so there's my road let's build it there, I'm not intruding on my farms and they can come and build that afterwards and a herbalist is, can have up to four people running it that's how they work so yeah now I'm just going to fast forward a bit here, skip past a few of the unnecessary details and hope that everything works out. Uh, what we will eventually need to do is we'll need to get a bigger town with more people in. So I'm going to let them build everything and we have a new child I think. No we don't. I'm just not reading things properly. So um, one of the things that I talked about last video was the fact that down here you've got like um, Forrester's Lodge uh, you've got a blacksmith, we will build one of those this episode probably, because we'll probably need one. Um, Taylor, Tavern, Mine, and Quarry. Uh, oh me, sorry, I'm a bit tired. See, the health has gone down again, so that's not good. So, um, the herbalist will just help boost that back up. Um, the thing I was going to say about it is you need to keep an eye on 
how many resources you've got. Like I said, that's all down here. But yeah, you need to know how much resource you've got. So now we have a herbalist. Sorry, it's my mistake. It's only out of two, not four. So if I just put a herbalist on that, they'll start creating medicines for the work. He says. He says. Come on. Do something. I'll check that back in a second. Uh, but we are going to need a blacksmith as well. He says. There we go. Look, see, medicines are now going up. So we, we only have 10 tools left. Medicine's gone down. And that will keep fluctuating. Now, saying about tools. Tools are very handy. Because I explained this last episode. Uh, if you didn't see it, go back and check it. Um, and they do eventually break. So in this episode, I am going to build a blacksmith. And when I find it, there it is. Now, blacksmiths use iron for their, for their work, so you need to make sure you've got enough iron to do this. Uh, I'm just going to remove all of these resources here as well, just because uh, we're, we're going to be using a lot of iron and there is some iron in there, so we are going to need that. So I'm going to let them mine those resources, and I'm going to come back when that's finished and when the blacksmith has been built. So I will see you guys in a few seconds. Right, so, um, I'm back in now. I haven't actually done everything that I wanted to do. Like, I haven't finished clearing everything up. I've still got them working on some iron, but I just thought I'd come in because I've just had the message the reserve of tools is low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these on a blacksmith. He's now come up with a little no job symbol because I put this on. <sighs> Pardon me. Sorry, I'm yawning for no reason. Um, I put this on do not work, so this is the do not work symbol. I probably should do this last episode, but I'm going to show you again. Now 50 for me is too many tools because you run out of them too fast and you end up using all of your iron on it. So I'm going to set it to 20. 20, not 2. Uh, and then I'm going to press work. So now my one person will go and work on this, which is perfect for us. And then we'll quite happily sit there and do that. Uh, and then we'll now make me tools. I made a bit of an idiotic move before and I didn't build this low enough down. I'm oh, sorry I built it too low down so it's out of place. But I'm also going to build a couple more houses because we're running out of, well we need more workers and more workers means more houses and more houses means more workers. Uh, we have another lot of crops planted but you can now see that this is starting to produce tools. It will be, I'm just going to speed the game back up. So we should now start seeing some tools come up here and his tools are broke, his tools are broke, so this is the symbol that means their tools have broken. This is our tools, click here to select and cycle through them. So this person should soon start to make some tools, and then these people will come and claim it. So yes, see, there we go, we have a tool now. And our little blacksmith will work. So we now have a new labourer. Uh, the reserve of tools is low. Yes, I gather that. So. Like I said, there is always more ways to collect different resources. I've just done this as I've told it to clear those areas and do that. We have another labourer. Woo! Right, now, I'm going to put another herbalist on because I had four labourers and I didn't need it. So now, this is going to get two workers instead of one. Uh, as you can see, my stockpile, this one is now filled up because I told them to clear all this area and this one's getting rather low. Uh, but yeah, so this has one iron and seven logs in. They use they can either make iron tools or they can eventually make steel tools, which you need logs, iron and coal for. That's a lot of work to get up to. Uh, so, I'm probably not going to keep this one too long. We now have another worker, but I have no job for him to be doing, so I will leave him there for now as a labourer. Always good to have a nice amount of labourers to carry everything around quickly. My food stocks are going up and down, which is always handy. but. Uh, we now have a lot of meat, we have a lot of foods, we still have a lot of leather, uh, coats and tools, so that's all good. Now, leather. They're used to making clothes, clothes last throughout winter, never got an idea to run out of clothes. Plus, they really do sell for a lot of money when you get a trading post, uh, which I'll explain in another video. It's, uh, which one is it? Where is it? It's this one here. Trading post allows the trade of resources with merchants. 
Now, the trading system in this game works very differently. And to trade something, you have to trade... Each thing has a value. You have no money in this game. You, you trade four stocks. So... Pardon me. Stocks, you trade items. That's how you trade it. So... I can trade, say, a hundred coats for something, and I'll get something that's equally valued between that merchant as worth a hundred coats. Whereas I might get the same thing off somebody else for fifty coats. It really just depends on what that merchant's after. Uh, that's how this game works on that front. But I'm going to build you, show you how to do that. The only way you get more clothes is you use the tailor. And I'm just going to, because I made this boo boo here, I'm going to build mine. Uh, probably again here so I'm just gonna build mine I'm gonna pop it there so what I can build that in a second using all the resources that we've got yay uh, but yeah we should start getting some more people more more children need more Perfect. that food stock is gonna rise up I'm just gonna leave it this amount of houses so that the food stocks keep going up uh, which is always good in my opinion. We have three hunters, that's perfect. Five labourers, okay. That labourer is going to go down in a minute because I'm going to assign one of them to be a tailor. So, yeah, I'm just going to put them on the tailor and then I'm probably going to cut this video here and I will stick around for that. But until then, we're just going to watch what happens and see how it goes. Now, I'm just going to check my log. What's actually? How many have we got? Logs. 194. So, actually, what one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wood lodge. Uh, forester's lodge, sorry, not wood lodge. And all you do for that is you come out here somewhere where it's nice and woody and you build one of those. Don't lose it because it'll take you forever to find it again. Just build the road into it. So, build the road there, build it over. Just connect it in. Okay, so the tailor is finished, so if I just put a tailor on, we are now going to be making coats, which will boost this number up. Coats help people survive through the winter. Simple as. They're building that now. And the Forester's Lodge, it's what it says really. Uh, they chop trees and they plant them again. It's as simple as it comes. Uh, so, see, there we go, they're going up now. It's as simple as it comes though, really. Uh, and the only reason I'm building one is purely the fact that we've got this, this woodcutter. He's just going to keep working. I'm only going to assign one to it, uh, even though it can have four. I'm only going to assign one to it, because that's all you really need. And we're going to leave it set at a 200 log limit. That's all you really need. So now as you can see we've got some coats coming in. Medicines we probably could do with another herbalist. But I'm not going to do that this episode. Not really much point in it. As seen as we're staying on four health. Which is fine by me. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to just wait for the forester to start hitting wood. So this should come up with a little symbol saying you've reached 200 wood soon, he says hopefully, <laughs> which is when we'll be happy, which is when I'm happy to call it that it's everything's fine. The firewood is low, so to me that says I either need. So what I'll do for that is I'll boost up the amount of firewood we can have to 300, and I'll boost up the amount of wood we cut to 300. That way, it'll just make him cut a bit more wood throughout the rest of the year and build a bit more of, of a reserve for the winter. Anyway, guys, uh, probably because I'm not going to hit the limit now for a while, I'm going to call it as an episode here. It's been great playing this game. I'm going to keep playing it. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, but until then, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.